Winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. Uh, a quote that resonates in the world of sports, business, and life in general. But where did it come from, and what does it truly mean? Dive into the past, and you'll find these words attributed to Vince Lombardi, an iconic American football coach. However, the quote's origins trace back further to Red Sanders, a college football coach. Sanders first uttered these words in the 1950s, setting the tone for an era of intense competition. But let's not get lost in history. Instead, ponder upon the essence of this quote. Is it a call to arms, a mantra for relentless pursuit of victory, or is it a reminder that nothing but the top spot will do? The answer, as it often is, depends on perspective. To the competitive spirit, this quote is a battle cry. It's a reminder that the taste of victory is sweet, and any other flavor falls short. It fuels the fire of ambition, pushing one to strive harder, run faster, and aim higher. It's not just about the game, the match, or the race. It's about the glory of standing atop the podium, basking in the cheers of the crowd. On the other hand, critics argue that this quote paints an unhealthy picture of success. They believe it fosters a win-at-all-costs mentality, where the joy of participation, the lessons from failure, and the value of sportsmanship take a back seat. After all, isn't there more to sports or life than just winning? The beauty of this quote lies in its duality. It can be a motivator or a warning, depending on how one chooses to interpret it. It's a testament to the human spirit's complexity, our drive for victory, and our struggle with what success means. So, what have we learned today? This quote, winning isn't everything, it's the only thing, has its roots in the world of sports, but extends far beyond it. It's been a beacon for the fiercely ambitious and a point of contention for those who value the journey over the destination. It challenges us to question what victory means. Is it the gold medal at the end of a grueling race, or is it the lessons learned, the friendships forged, and the person you become along the way? In the end, the interpretation of this quote is a personal journey. It's a mirror reflecting our values, ambitions, and beliefs about success. Whether you see it as a clarion call to victory or a cautionary tale, remember this. The power of these words lies not in their utterance, but in their interpretation.